Hello everyone. Today we discuss about 8085 simulator. How we'll run 8085 program using SMA language. And there are lots of problem in the development kit because first of all we write the code and then execute this code by using hex code. These are lots of time is consuming. So therefore, in this tech, in this method, we'll write program in a very simple way in assembler. So first of all. I discuss this is a 085 simulator ID. It is download from the internet. Please Google 8085 simulator ID Ocean software. Then download this file and after I install it, this simulator is shows. So this simulator is look like 8085 8085 architecture diagram. That is these accumulators, this is a flag register. This is B C D E H L register, this is HL pair content, this is a flag register which value is sign register, sign flag, zero flag, auxiliary carry flag, parity flag, carry flag. These are content of program counter, these are content of stack pointer, these are how many clock cycle counting and instruction counting. These are serial output data, serial input data. And there are lots of simulation. These are starting of simulation. These are lots of simulation rate in a safe step by step, in a slow, normal mode, fast mode, extremely or ultimate mode. These are tools. These are memory editor where we enter the number. These are starting from 00 hex to up to FFF hex because these are 64 kilobyte address. So this is FFF 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and look like a FFFF. Okay. And this is called the assembler where we retain the assembly language. So first of all, we save this file. Okay. As your name, I name this file FF.SM. You mention your name and any other name can be put here so first of all tab sign is pressed first of all tab sign is pressed or space and first of all I write the instruction in a capital capital letter MBI a 09 hex and then MBI B 09 hex also and add between them add B and then halt okay this is my program so in this program memory is cannot use because we cannot store any number in the memory tab. In the later program, we will show that. So now this is save. And after save, this is assemble. This app assemble. This shows that there are no, are no errors are, are available. Then assemble and load. Now this is loading the program in the, in the simulator. Now the rate is step by step. Otherwise, simulation is very fast. Now starting the simulation. So now this is the last instruction and this is the next instruction. Now instruction is not executed because this is indicate that this is the next instruction and click the in the step op option. When the step operation is executed, the last the next instruction is executed and the accumulator content is 09. What will be the next instruction? MBI B comma 09. Now again step, then this is a 09. And what is the value of addition? 9 plus 9 means 18. So it is not 18 because the value in a in a form of hexadecimal so it is shown 12 so this is a 12 and there is a no carry okay carry status is 0 and again step this is the status of our simulation this shows that this is an instruction where the program counter is starting how uh, when the time or what is the date how many clock cycles are required and microprocessor run in a 4 megahertz therefore 5.75 microsecond are timing to require uh, timing to require to execute the full full instruction and <coughs> sorry these are content of uh, carry flag sign flag auxiliary carry flag and parity flag also these are stack pointer location and these are content of bcd hl and these are instruction is a program counter okay now if we change the location of program counter please go in option and change here starting address the starting address is 8000 now again this program save tool assemble assemble and load again start now step no this is the wrong there's some wrong process first of all this is assemble oh stop first of all stop this simulation then assemble and load then rate option check okay then Okay, now we start from the fresh 
assembler the new file okay and write the code again mvi a comma 09 hex because you change the program counter location mvi b comma 09 hex okay then add b and then halt okay now save this program sorry now save this program gg name now assemble and assemble and load and then starting the simulation so there have some problem but why it's a problem no this is not done okay there have some problem so we change the starting address the indicate the stop the simulation first so here we again the starting address from 00, zero and again run it we again assemble it assemble and load simulation start okay now this is also done by this process so in the later video will be show in the later video will show the how the program control will be changed because i forgot something some parameters which is done in the assembler sorry for this in the later video will be show how program control will be changes okay so there are lots of features are available in this there are memory io ports are available input output ports are available so uh, first of all we can we add another program like lxih 9000 hex then transferring this number in the accumulator then inxh 9001 then add between them then add m then add m and after addition store the number in 9002 hex memory location okay automatically and after this program hold the program okay so now before assembling this we go assemble assemble and load also now starting from 900 hex location where the 900 is starting so now from here 900 is starting sorry now this is the 900 here we return 55 enter 66 uh, student please mention it is note that here we press enter otherwise number will not get entered properly okay so 55 and 66 and after addition of these two number we will get here bb hexadecimal b and b okay so now start simulation so first instruction is that now step after getting this the HLPR is contained 9000 what will be the content 55 what is the next instruction move a comma m a comma m that means the content of this memory pointer is goes to the accumulator okay now again step no okay now this is show that accumulator content is 55 now what is the next instruction i next h so 9000 will be updated 9001 so what is the value in 9001 66 from this memory pointer now next instruction add m now addition between two of them are stored in the accumulator that means 66 plus 55 equal to bb and last this is stored in the 9002 now this is the 9002 please follow my card cursor viewers please follow my cursor this is answer bb okay and carry output equal to zero there is no carry and after pressing the halt simulation this is again the status of the program <laughs> okay the microprocessor run in a 4 megahertz and this is a total number of clock cycle time period required 40 clock cycles are required okay this is the instruction this is a program control location this is the uh, this is a flag register content this is the, the various register content in 8085 this is a stack pointer location this is a number of instruction and total time elapsed elapsed time is 58.26 second are required okay so this simulator is very helps us 
to avoid the to retain the code in a development program because all students in a development board when you're running the program in a development board uh, first of all we retain in a code in a in our note in our note in our note notebook then uh, as per instruction set like uh, this is the instruction set we put the opcode from here in our in this instruction set we put the opcode and take the opcode from here and put in our in, in our in our program and then after step by step instruction properly put this hex code in a properly address and after some execution so there are lots of time are required so using this assembler we just only return the new nix that means that means the instructions here we not mention any opcode or any hex code are required here so this is a very sophisticated way to and to to reduce the time and to under to, to clearly understand or better understand the 8085 assembly language programming okay